Hi, Bruce from Safari, and this is the C trial uh, video, if you wish, um, of Lalo, 51 foot Riviera, belonging to Les Cow. And so uh, this is the period of time yesterday, we're gonna, and between here and there. And uh, now let's just have a look at the route. So the big advantage here with Victron in the cloud is that we can download the GPS tracks here. I can now go and open up the tracks and uh, that's the trip that we did yesterday. So we did a total of 29.6 kilometers and these are the actual waypoints. If I click on this, we can actually uh, have a look at where the waypoints are at any, any point in time. I think the halfway point is somewhere around here. And uh, we can then see on the map here where we actually went to. Now, the detail that we can see here is uh, pretty incredible. So. We are just going to zoom in here and have a look at um, when we pass Sovereign Island and uh, you can get an idea there. Or we can even zoom in much better than that um, and I can load up a lot more detail in there. So uh, that's more for the, uh, for the boat owner. Let's go back now and have a look at the energy flows. So let's have a look. Uh, this is the period that we ran for here and uh, we turned everything on to start with. The loads went high, uh, 5,600 watts. Uh, this is the hot water uh, turning off in here. I think it's about 15, 1,600 watts. And that's just the uh, aircon on. So we had in here the Flybridge aircon saloon and uh, the cabins all on. Had every fridge turned on on 240, uh, including the ice maker. Uh, and uh, yeah, we had everything conceivable on and there's no power during this test period from here to here, no AC input power. Uh, we started off with a state of charge of the battery about 89.5%. At the end of the trip, uh, we we're at 90.3. So the batteries were slightly charged during this period of time that we we're running with all those loads. Well, where did the power come from? And you can see here, this is the battery voltage here in the current so uh, you can see here when we're above the line here we're basically charging below the line here we're discharging but for the majority of the trip here from here in on uh, we were charging so where did the power come from well the power came from the alternators via scotty and this number here is the net dc load so this is net of the dc going out so this is alternator power through scotty coming in and then DC loads going out, and this is the net number. So you'll see on the screen soon that the actual alternator is producing much more than this. Why is there a step change? Hot water system turned off, the output reduced because we're running what I call a power matching strategy. The batteries are in float, so as the loads go on, um, uh, Scotty will increase the output as the loads reduce, it will uh, reduce the output too so that the net flow into the battery is just uh, a small amount while it's in uh, float mode. Uh, there's the condition of the V state, right? Something uh, quite special and unique that we added. There's the battery sense overnight. AC power jumping around, but let's come down here and have a look at uh, temperature sensors that we added. So we added a Bluetooth temperature sensor for the freezer and one for the fridge. And this is the cycling. Uh, it's uh, the freezer's going from minus 16 down to minus uh, 21, so less good for ice cream. And the fridge, which is uh, semi-converted into a um, fridge freezer, I think, Les, the, the black one uh, sitting there in the, in the galley, is going from minus 9 to minus 15. So uh, these are uh, Bluetooth. Uh, this temperature will be stored for up to six months, this trending. Uh, and, uh, Les, we could put this in each of the cabins and you'll know exactly how good that air con is, what the cycling of the air con is. Put it up in the flybridge as well and I think that would give you a lot of data. Now you will see all this on your smartphone as well. So let's have a look at the typical shot on the smartphone. Now let's have a look at the smartphone. So this is just a screenshot I did yesterday while we were running. Uh, and this just shows the AC loads here. You can see the DC power here coming in uh, from Scotty. And uh, because these batteries are pretty well in uh, float mode, so uh, that's just over 13.4 uh, volts per battery. Um, we're just power matching, we're just putting enough in to drive this and putting a small amount of charge in. And here's the freezer and the fridge temperature yesterday. Yes, it does give you a local weather as well. 
Um, so uh, you can actually see on your phone before you go into the boat what all your cabin temperatures were, Les, everything else. And um, uh, we could even turn on the uh, air con if you wanted to. Uh, let's now have a look at the uh, screen data. Yeah, Bruce from Safari, and we're here on this Riviera 51 doing a sea trial. And uh, let's all look now. We're just idling the rev of the engines is 550, and we're putting in just around 5 kilowatts of power coming in. So right now we've got AC loads of uh, 4,000 watts. We've got DC loads of about a kilowatt. We're putting in here just under 5, and we're slightly charging. Uh, quite a good result. We've got 1,026 RPM seven seven kilowatts of power and uh, charging running the same AC loads. Here's a screenshot of the maximum power that we got yesterday and if you add up the two alternators there it adds up to 8661 watts. Uh, the AC loads you'll see here are 5724 um, but the DC on this boat's quite high 1.2 kilowatts going out in 12 volt DC that's why the net DC loads on the top there is less than the alternator power from Scotty. Great thing with Victron is we can just touch the MFD and pull up the uh, console uh, from down in the saloon right up in the flybridge here. So uh, Les here can see, in this case, uh, doing about 5,600 watts. He can see the power coming in from either alternator and he can also see his uh, temperatures on this uh, display as well. A big thank you to Steve Dittmar of Pro Yacht, who uh, led the sea trial, and uh, to the Penske uh, team for the engine analysis. And I have to sign off by saying, how good's that?